Hey guys, Chris Coolmod for an uh, installation video for my uh, uh, PS4 25TB uh, installation. Uh, this is a fast, easy to understand video. Uh, you can uh, use this video to install my backup and understand how, how it works. But if you have any question and, and you have any problem, I suggest to watch my old video my long video uh, installation uh, I talk a lot of, uh, about any situation how to play the game and stuff like that but this video it's when you receive the drive it's an easy fast uh, installation if anything goes wrong go back to my uh, other uh, video link are in on the uh, manual my Dropbox and uh, Discord and YouTube alright so it's very easy uh, you will receive the 3, 8 terabyte on the Rico. You do not plug it yet uh, because it's time to uh, restore your uh, PS4 and put it back as mine. So you will receive the um, 1 terabyte uh, USB external drive and you will receive the dongle. All right, the 3 terabyte, the 3 uh, times 8 terabyte on the Rico. Uh, you're gonna plug it after this tutorial to play the game okay you don't need it now all right so you make sure let's pretend the uh, ps4 you see now it's your ps4 so uh, the first step uh, you should already know but you, the first step is to check if you are on 9.0 <coughs> you go down to system you go down to information you will see 9.00 okay uh, if you didn't update your uh, ps4 and your lower you're gonna plug my one terabyte on your uh, ps4 because i provide the uh, big uh, ps4 update 9.0 i say big update because if you go on ps4 site they have the small update the regular and the big update usually the big update is um, you need it when you change your internal drive so that's why I provide the big so let's say you you already have a 500 gig and you need a one terabyte when you're gonna swap it's gonna ask to uh, plug the uh, update on the USB but it's the big update all right uh, so to update if you're lower than nine you will go to update you make sure your network is off. You go to uh, the update is not so far. Where's the update? System software. You will click on it. You will see my uh, update 9.00. You click on it. Uh, it's going to update it. It's going to shut down. It's going to reboot. All right. So after it reboot. Uh, you check to make sure your system is at 9.00 and now it's time to restore your PS4 from my uh, backup one terabyte you will go to uh, setting you will go to system you will go to backup you will go to restore and you will see my restore from the one terabyte I provide to you. It's 642 uh, gigabyte. Uh, it's possible if you watch my video uh, later that I have a new backup. It's possible, but uh, you will see one backup. You click on it. You say restore. Uh, you say yes. It's going to shut down. And after it's going to reboot, uh, you will have a timer. Uh, usually it's around three hours uh, but it's gonna uh, it's possible at the start it's gonna mark like nine ten hours uh, but it's gonna go down to uh, it's around two three hours I just wait for the the PS4 to uh, to boot to show you so it's very easy. I, I'm showing you what you're going to receive. You, you make sure you are on 9.00. You restore from my backup. And I'm going to pause the video 
and continue in one second uh, and show you what you need to do after. It's very, very, very easy. Takes about uh, three hours to re restore and a few minutes to uh, understand the jailbreak to play the game. So uh, that's it. You will see that. After you will see a, da a timer around three hours. It's not going to reboot automatically. You have to press, I think, the home button at the end. I'm going to show you. Anyway, I'm going to pause the video and come back after the three hours in one second. So pause. See you in one second. I just wait for the 100. See, now it says uh, 20 hours. But it's going to go down to uh, three hours. All right. See you in one second. Yes, it works. Okay, so now after three hours, uh, the PS4 come back. Uh, he reboot by himself and he come back to the uh, backup. All right. So I have my controller. Uh, you press on F on three. Now everything is set as mine. Uh, you should have all the icon, all the games. Uh, you should have this folder with the web browser that we're going to need. Uh, you can go to the setting. Uh, every setting is set exactly as mine, as, sh as, as it should be. Uh, so if you go to system, it's nine. Now it's a fresh uh, installation from the drive I send you. So the only thing we can do now, uh, uh, we don't need the drive. You can unplug your uh, one terabyte uh, because you did the update, you did the uh, restore. So the one terabyte, you don't need it. So we unplug it. Uh, you do not plug your eight terabyte yet. We don't need it. Every time you're going to jailbreak your uh, PS4, uh, do not plug any drive. It's going to be faster. All right. You can do it, but uh, you will have some bug and slow down and stuff like that. So you don't need any uh, 8 terabyte plug. The 25 terabyte should not be uh, plugged on the, the PS4. All right. So it's very easy. You need internet just for a few seconds after we're gonna unplug. You unplug your cable, your uh, cable, internet LAN, uh, or your Wi-Fi. So now you need internet just to cache the the browser because if you go to the browser, it's gonna be uh, where's the browser? I'm not gonna go to the browser. Do not go to the browser. But if you go to the browser, there is nothing now. So we need the uh, the page. You need a page to hack your PS4. So you we need internet for a few seconds, and after we close the internet. Uh, just before uh, going to the internet, you have to go to uh, uh, setting. It's disabled, but I'm, I just want to make sure you understand. Automatic download. Nothing is checked. You leave it like that. So no updates gonna be uh, up, uh, downloaded on a automatic download. But it should be already like this. But just to make sure. So nothing's gonna be uh, updated. And that's it. You go to uh, come on. That was system. You go to system software update. There is nothing. Of course, it's blocked. Okay, you go to network. Now it's time to connect to the, your Wi Fi or your LAN. You click connect to the internet. No downloads going to be downloaded. Everything is blocked. Um, and after you have to set your uh, internet con connection. So you go to Wi-Fi or LAN. For my example, I'm going to Wi-Fi. 
you will do custom for both options. I'm going to show you why. You do custom. You choose your internet. Mine is Crystal Mod. Uh, you input your uh, password. After, for the IP, you do automatic. For the uh, DHCP, you do, uh, do not specify. DNS, that's the important part, manually. Why? Because I already input two DNS that you need. You click next, you keep those two uh, DNS, uh, primary, secondary, you click next. NTU automatic, proxy do not use, uh, test it. You should have a connection. Success, success. Now we are on, on the uh, internet. You go to the browser and you need your dongle uh, in your hand that I provide to you. This is for the uh, jailbreak. So we go to the internet. Look at that. After a, f a flash uh, backup, it will open a page. That's the important part. Now it's caching the theme. Okay, you go to PS4 uh, 9. Click on it. Click cache all. Oh. Because after the cache, the, uh, what, is, what it's doing is uh, it's going to cache uh, the page on your browser. And we don't need internet anymore. Okay, I'm going to show you. Now I'm going to close it. Now everything is cached. Uh, network, you close it. You unplug your uh, LAN cable. You don't need internet anymore. Okay, there is no update, no internet. You're good to go. Okay, now the that's the jailbreak part. It's easy, but sometimes it's a little bit buggy. But don't panic, everything's gonna be uh, okay. I will show you some pop-up that's gonna appear and it's gonna work. See now I have no internet. You click gold, hand, and you wait. It's possible it's gonna tell you uh, missing memory and stuff like that. Don't worry, worry, it's gonna work. Okay, now you have this window, insert USB. You insert the uh, USB uh, on your PS4. I provide to you. You wait. See, this USB storage device file system is uh, unsupported. We don't care. So now, with the controller and the USB plug, you press X. You press uh, OK. Uh, OK on the window. All right. Now it will said you are set and on the right it says gold hand version 2.3 is installed. That's it. Now you can press the uh, the home button. And if you watch on top uh, right, uh, left, you see gold hand. Uh, if you go to setting, you have a gold uh, hand. You don't touch anything there. Just if you know what you do, but you, you do. that means you are jailbreak it now. All right. So all game here is going to work. But now it's time to plug your 8 terabyte or your 25 terabyte uh, on the uh, Rico. Uh, after that, you go to device manager. USB. Now there is no drive. I, I didn't plug any of my 8 terabyte. But you will see the tree drive and you can click. Uh, oh, it's because I didn't unplug the, sorry, the dongle. You don't need the dongle anymore. You remove your dongle. You don't need it anymore, the, uh, the dongle. You remove it after the jailbreak. After you go to USB storage, you choose your drive. You can click on any drive and you can set it as your uh, external drive game. You can uh, disconnect them or uh, connect them and change them. All right. 
and every di drive has game and after that you wait you will see a pop-up on the right corner uh, that means it's scanning the game it sometimes not sometimes but every time it takes a long time to scan all the eight terabyte games you wait you wait you wait and after a while while you go to uh, all games and some game the the triangle the exclamation mark is going to disappear all right and you just click on the game and it's going to work just to show you it works i have one game that it's internal uh, uh what's the name uh, recently used install date uh, I should have it on the desktop. Install recently use. Ah, I should have it. Where it is? Oh, it's Sonic. I don't see the Sonic. Uh, let's jump to. I'm sure it's right there. I think I have a few game internally. That's don't, you don't need the 8 terabyte. Yeah, it's Sonic, but... Anyway, doesn't matter. So that's it, guys. Um, this is all to uh, jailbreak your PS4. If you need more detail, watch the uh, original long uh, video, how to boot the game and stuff like that. And after that, when you power off, if you put put your uh, PS4 in uh, rest, rest mode, it should come back uh, all jailbreaked already. You don't have to re-jailbreak it. So it's all set, easy like that. If you have any pop-up on the uh, browser uh, memory and stuff like that, try to keep the uh, jailbreak and uh, it's gonna work. Don't worry. All right, thanks guys. Have a great day, have fun with the uh, PS4.